Well, update on barn doors. So as you remember, we cut this big opening in the back of the barn going out towards the pond. I got a giant tarp over it right now. It is cold, snowing, <laughs> rain as you can see. Rain was blowing in here. Uh, it is cold outside, so we had to tarp it off. Have an opening up there, it's still exposed, but it is what it is. Uh, but I got the parts delivered um, to build these doors. Never did this before. Thankfully though, I've got two doors uh, of this style in the barn that I've been going and look at and go, wait, how do you do this? How do you do this? So uh, we're gonna have two eight foot doors, 10 foot tall, uh, that close together. So uh, after doing the research, looking at my doors, I put an order in. And basically what I have is I've got two bottom rails, eight foot long. These have the slot in them that the wheel, the guide wheel uh, goes in that. So when um, you're opening and closing, it kind of keeps it secure. The wind blows, the bottom isn't flailing out from back of the, you know, from the building and stuff. So that's that bottom one. Then you have uh, these side um, rails. Man, it's hard to see the contour. There it is. That will go like that. The lumber will go in there to build the frame. And then where my thumb is right there, that's where the, the metal siding on the exterior will go into. Uh, one thing to keep in mind um, that I did not know, because my doors are singular doors, not joining doors, is there is an optional track that looks like this. So this will be the frame channel but this one has that opening that you see on this side of it that allows for uh, let's see if i can show you the other door hang on let me get down low when they close we'll be able to receive right in there and basically make a nice you know um you know windproof kind of rainproof kind of joint so which is cool instead of just having these two butt up against it actually has these little lips um on it to receive that so um, that should be nice so so the bottom we'll be putting a two by six on the bottom uh into those then this the bottom rails will slide up on there then we'll have two by sixes probably three of them for the middle supports all the way up the top, there is no metal part of the frame for the top. You just put a two by six, and then I have black J channel, you put a black J channel there. And uh, that's how the doors go together, and then you put your metal on, of course, you know? And then I got the, um, there's a shield, it's still wrapped in. Uh, if you go online, look at YouTube videos and stuff like that, or even photos, you'll see that over top of the rail, which is that over there, once that's mounted up on the board, this shield, uh, goes above your, um, I'm using a two by 10 that that rail will hook to. This actually mounts right above that to the uh, framing and then hangs over to protect the rail on the top of the door from rain getting in through that. So uh, I'll be putting that up there um, as well. So the next step for me, I'm at a tricky phase right now, is um, need to cut the metal back to that beam on both sides and remove that so then I can get the um, the uh, two by 10 up there that the rail's gonna go on. Right now it's just got the header and it's got one, those boards right there are the ones like the purlin, that's the framing for the barn. Another one has to mount on the outside of that to help it stick out in front of the uh, metal siding. So that'll be the next step, getting that done.